Hey guys, welcome back to Vinceville Customs. So today we're going to do sort of a fast video. We're going to be just repairing this bulldog, which I guess is from Looney Tunes. I forget the name of the bulldog. You, maybe you guys in the comments can uh, remind me. But uh, basically somebody sent me this and what they want to do is they want to take the hat off of him. Take these two ears that are here and put it connected to these ears over here. Because he's a fan of bulldogs and he just wants the bulldog. He doesn't want the hat on him. Plus we have a broken foot over here. Uh, as you can kind of see, this is kind of broken off here, and I guess this is hollow, so that's going to be a little bit of an issue. So that's more or less like filling A's or uh, freeform air on both sides, kind of letting it cure, and then sort of kind of pegging it together, and then uh, setting it up and fixing that foot over there. But this is going to be a little bit of a tricky part, only because uh, it's a matter of just trying to get this off without breaking any more stuff underneath here. Now we're not doing a full repaint, we're not going crazy with this, it's just one of his uh, items he just wants on his shelf and just taking off the hat basically and just a quick repair. Uh, when I do repair this, I'll probably hit it with some paint on some other areas that are kind of smudged just to kind of fix them up. So the idea is we've got to try to get this hat off. Now my first uh, idea is just to take like a screwdriver or something and sort of Put it underneath here and sort of like pry and see if it kind of wiggles without breaking it. Uh, that might not work. And sometimes maybe just uh, so it's kind of on there and I'm, you know it's kind of like iffy on do I want to pry it off or do I want to try to uh, dremel it off because you never know how this stuff is attached. It could be just two dabs of glue with some keys underneath these ears here or this could be like wired down shut I'm not really sure. Um, I think these ears though over here are either glued on or they're sculpted on. I think they might be sculpted. So that's going to be like Dremel work to Dremel those out and attach the ears. Plus, we're going to have to sort of kind of do our own little take on the ears because it looks like they were extended to get into this hat. But the ears might not be that long, but we'll see how that works. So the idea right now is trying to get this off. Um... I don't know, it's kind of tricky. I always like to kind of take my time with this stuff and not really go crazy. But maybe kind of prying it back here a little bit might work. See, at first he wanted me to repair the hat or kind of give him a new hat, but... Alright, so that worked out pretty good. See? Just a little bit of wiggling and prying it off. And we did. so these are like what I like keyed in here. So this is resin, so it's not like a uh, ceramic. Because ceramic statues are a nightmare. Alright, so next step is the foot. Um, it's probably better to uh, kind of start getting this foot situated. So the best thing I would do on this is just sort of break this off. There's no doubt about it. You have to kind of snap this off. As you can see, it's hollow here. It's hollow over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some freeform air. I'm going to fill in this part with freeform air. I'm going to fill in this part with freeform air. And that'll make life easier for drumming holes and adding some pegs and then the uh, A's at the later. The reason why these feet are broken is because they're not actually super flat. They're kind of like twisted up well, something like that. So we have to do that. So what, I'm going to mix this up freeform air, get this in here. And then what I could do is I could go in the garage and do some drumming work on there. So if you look into the hat, you can see that these ears are actually casted with the hat. They're not actually glued in. So that means we have to do some drum work on there. Uh, so I think once we get off those ears, it's a matter of just drumming in here and here, drumming over there, and sort of kind of doing some sculpting work to kind of match this up. And then after that, once it's done, we just kind of match up the grays, we touch it up, and that's all we're doing to this item. So stuff like this is kind of cool. Like if you have a, you know, whether it's a Looney Tunes or a Disney item, Warner Brothers, whatever you got, and it's got something like this on there and you don't like it but you love the sculpt, there's no reason that you can't get it and snap off a piece, kind of tweak it up, and then you got yourself the item you really want. So it's pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, so like I said, we're going to mix this in now. We're going to get this uh, set up. We'll throw him aside. I'll go into the garage later. I'll get these ears off. And then uh, hopefully by tomorrow or the next day, I can start uh, putting it all together. Okay, so uh, the feet are curing up with the freeform air in there, so that's going to take a little while, at least till tomorrow when it's going to be safer to fix up the foot. And uh, so what I did is I went in the garage, I dremeled out two spots in here in the ears, and I also took these ears off the hat. Now, 
looking at this, uh, there's going to be a little bit of a delay. I can't really attach the ears tonight and get them over and done with only because I'd rather do the foot first, get that secured because if I have to turn them upside down and flip them around, if I put these ears on, I might break them off again. So I think tomorrow best to do the foot and then do the ears. But looking at the ears, uh, if you put them on just like this, it's okay, but it's not really in scale looking at like a lot of the pictures online. His ears are a little bit higher and kind of more floppy. Whereas if you put them straight like this, it's really not spiked from the cartoon. And it's if you go down here, it's kind of works, but it's still got to be a little bit higher. So what I'll do is, once the foot is attached and that's secured and all cleaned up, what I'll do is I'll put a metal rod here and here, and what I'll do is I'll glue that in and I'll glue these two little ear pieces to the metal rods. And then what I'll do is I'll use some uh, magic scope, make like an armature, let that cure up. And then what I'll do is I'll go in with some, uh, you know, like uh, A's and stuff to fix it. So what I actually might have to do is I might, to do the rod, I might actually have to drill a hole in here and to drill a little hole in here. So this way it actually holds that metal rod a little bit better. And this way it's not kind of breaking off. So that's kind of where the whole process as you'll see as we go. So it's going to be foot first get that seamed up and secured, and then do the ears, touch up the paint, and then we're done. Okay, we got the ears all patched up and the paws all patched up. So the next step is I'm going to go over to the airbrush booth, set them down. Uh, I might have to do some masking, but I think I can get away with some of it where I might not have to. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to have to touch up some stuff here and there. But this item is like hand painted very softly from like the factory. So it's we're not doing a full blown repaint. So I just got to kind of touch it up the best I can and just that's all the client really wants. So this gray is kind of like a bluish gray. It's not just like white and black mixed together. It's got like a hint of blue. So what I'm going to try to do is see if I can mix up a bottle of it. But I might have a bottle or two from grays I've mixed up in the past that actually might be perfect for it. We'll see how it works. Uh, and then after that, it's pretty much done. Okay, so Spike is all finished up. So you can see what we did here is we repaired this foot. So I freeform air on here, freeform air over here, which is a light mixture of stuff of sculpting material. So that's pretty good. It's not going to really weigh it down. And then we use the metal rods and Abe's epoxy sculpt to fix up this area. And the same thing with the ears. I put a metal rod on both of the ears. I used a magic sculpt to create an armature. I let that cure it up. And then I did my Abe's work around it. And once I sanded it all down, it was a matter of just matching up the paint. Now, the only tricky thing about this paint was it's kind of like a lightish blue paint, gray, and it was kind of hard to match it up 100%. Uh, I came pretty close, so I figured since there was a lot of errors around the other item, you know, there's kind of like paint rubs and stuff, I figured I'm just going to mix up my matches of paint. I'm going to blend all the way around the item and just kind of like blend out the ears, blend out the arms, back of them, and just work it out. 
Uh, whenever I do repairs, if I can't match the item as close as possible, what I'll do is I kind of blend around the item too. It's kind of easier that way. Because if you spend hours upon hours upon hours trying to match up this little part of the paint, when you can actually take your time and do like in five minutes all around here, it makes the item easier to kind of match up the paint. Plus it makes it a little bit more vibrant, brings it back to life, stuff like that. So after I did all that, basically I cleaned up the neckline around here with the paint uh, because of whoever painted in the factory didn't go down to the bottom so I tried to clean that up as much as possible plus I had a little overspraying so I didn't really mask it all off but it's all cleaned up now and then uh, for the hell of it I kind of cleaned up the face a little bit even though I wasn't asked to do it it was just a matter of just getting some off white paint and just kind of touch up some of the rubs there so he's pretty much all set up and ready to go so I like doing stuff like this once in a while ventures out from the superhero type stuff the you know the garage kid stuff the pre-paint stuff, you know, picking up like a Looney Tunes, uh, you know, a Warner Brothers or even Disney type resin statues. It gets to show people that you can actually customize those and tweak them and bring them back to life as well. So if you are into like, if you have, even if you have old statues, like maybe Darkwing Duck type stuff, Chip and Dale, um, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy type stuff, if that's the type of stuff you're into, you know, you can actually pick those items up and you could say, well, you know, maybe I want to make a, a Goofy into a military character and you can sculpt a hat for Goofy or, you know, uh, I remember back in the day I took a Donald Duck porcelain item, which was like this big, uh, and uh, somebody asked me to make it into a uh, power to duck, but the porcelain item was a nightmare because it was porcelain like a kitchen a sink porcelain, so it wouldn't chop up, so... There's two types of porcelain out there. There's one porcelain that's like kitchen sink type stuff where you'll never chop it up. And then there's really super fragile porcelains that will. So we were lucky on this item that this is a resin statue. So if you go out there and you want to customize and you want to do the resin stuff, it could work. And even plastic stuff could work. So, you know, it's kind of cool to just show people that this is uh, doable. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and we'll be back with some more videos.